Okay, good morning everyone. How are we today? Uh, ang prayer ko that we are all safe and fine in the comfort of our home. Uh, kahit na meron tayong pandemic today na pinaproblema natin. I pray that we are all relaxed and not uh, getting angry. And I hope we are all fine. So today we will discuss dealing with anger, fears, and frustration. So okay, ito yung lesson natin today. There are times when we find ourselves in comfortable situations such as or during an argument or job interview. Every day, we experience negative feelings such as anger, anxiety, frustrations, and loneliness. As a result of the situation, none of us would like to be in these situations. So, we can, we, uh, what can you do to help yourself get over these uncomfortable feelings? Dealing with uh, your own feeling can help you become more aware of yourself as well as become more pleasant in dealing with other people. Feeling good can help us establish good relationship with others. Okay, okay. I have a question. I have two questions. The first one is, how do you feel today? How are you? And what's happening to you? Alam naman natin na nangyayari. Are you still happy? Okay. Like most people, we sometimes feel happy. But there are also times when you feel sad. How we feel is important because this helps us assess the situation and make decision too. For example, okay, if you got a perfect exam or what I mean, perfect score, how do you feel? Okay, alam natin ang feeling yan. Uh, would you celebrate? If your pet dog died, how do you feel? Uh, when something nice happened, di ba? We usually feel happy or something bad or terrible. We feel angry, sad, or frustrated. These feelings and emotions can then affect our behavior. Okay. So, kaya important ito malaman at maintindihan natin why we have, and then, ang tawag na dito ay negative feeling. And the question is, why we have a negative feeling? Human beings are very lucky because we can experience different kinds of feelings. These feelings give colors to our lives. That's good, di ba? And make us unique. When we are happy, everything seems so beautiful. Ang ganda ng paligid natin. But there are times when we are when our feeling can make this world seems dull and cruel. Minsan nangyayari yan, marit masaya, and minsan malungkot tayo. Okay, tingnan natin yung iba't ibang klaseng uh, uh, pakiramdam or feeling. Neither it is negative or positive. You can uh, you can look at them. It is, uh, what I mean is, kayo na lang magbasa. But, um, now, it would help us if we know the causes of our negative feeling so we can avoid them. It is important for us to be able to manage the negative feeling. Otherwise, we would not be able to appreciate the beautiful things around us. We cannot appreciate good feeling when we are feeling down. Totoo naman, pag malungkot tayo. But what is a negative feeling? And what it is? Okay? Ano nga ba yung negative feeling? Tignan natin. Okay? So, negative feeling. Sabi rito, negative feeling occurs when something bad happens. It could be any feeling that simply causes personal discomfort, unpleasant, or distress. Negative feelings are known as not nice or bad feeling. Example of this include irritations, loneliness, jealousy, anger, and depression. It is important to look at the context or situation that is happening at the time a negative feeling is experienced to know its source or cause. In general, the cause of negative feeling can be grounded into six categories. Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this category in detail at the next page. Okay, that's what. That's the first one. The trauma. Okay, what is trauma? A sudden event that shattered your safe or sense of safety. A car accident, ayan, katulad sa picture, hold up, public humiliation, you may experience negative feelings such as fear or you can also have shames and depressions. Itong lahat na to ay nagiging causes for us to have a negative feeling. The second one is conflict, making difficult choices or disagreeing with others. Give up your studies because you have to work, arguing with friends because of uh, differences in opinion. Okay, so next we have life event. Yeah, uh, uncontrollable things that happen which can change our personal life. Isa na itong pandemic na to yung COVID-19. Ang daming binago, patuloy na binabago, lalo sa buhay natin, we can go out. Hindi na normal, kaya nga may pinapalabas na new norms ngayon. Diba? So, may pagbabago. 
And another one is yung bereavement, losing of loved ones, yung may namatay. That's that's really painful. Masakit yan. Uh, it, it, it leads us to the, the depressions. Okay? Yan. Continuing, uh, continuing problem. Problem that happens again and again. Bakit? Fighting with the family members na lagi kayo nagkikita, so nagkakainitan. So, yan yung mga problema na lagi kayo nagtatalo-talo. So, isa po yan sa mga negative feelings na na, na meron tayo na nagiging dahilan ng ating uh, anger, uh, even frustration. Then, another one is daily annoyance. I think this is the last minor problem that cause annoyance or irritation. Traffic. Sobra ang traffic sa Pinas. Di ba? You're gonna, you're gonna go there for a minute. Ngayon, hours na talaga. Or a couple of hours. Eh, sakit sa ulo. Kaya minsan, minsan nakakagalit talaga. Okay. The negative feelings people feels are quite similar to each other. This is because we have so-called base or basic feelings from where all other feelings are derived. For example, worry and anxiousness both came from a basic feeling of fears. But Tingnan natin to. We have three uh, basic feelings daw. So, meron tayo. We have anger, fear, and frustration. Isa-isahin natin. Anger means a violent and strong displeasure as a result of opposition or, mal- or maltreatment. Ano ano yun? Um, jealousy, hatred, or disgust. Ayan. We have fear, feeling of anxiety caused by a presence of danger, evil, or pain, anxious feeling like dread and uneasiness about something. So, anxiety, worry, and depression. And last is, frustration felt when you are kept from doing or achieving something, something, something uh, defeated effort, hope, or plans. So, ano nangyayari? Nai-irritate tayo, parang helplessness, wala na, ang gando na lang, kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng regret sa buhay. Coping strategies. It is important to understand how we feel at all time. This way, we are always ready to cope with them. Coping strategies. We are always... Or uh, there are ways which help us to handle or face our problem. For example, a person who feels unhappy may watch a movie or other may choose to just stay home and rest. People cope with problems differently. Pwede ka mag-pray or pwede ka magbasa ng Bible. Diba? Pwede naman natin gawin yan. Or ask God para doon sa mga pinagdadaanan natin. So, ilan lang yan? Okay. How to, with, how to deal with anger and frustration? Okay, Pray. As we all know that God acts to change your circumstances according to His will. He doesn't always do what we want Him to, uh, Him to, but He knows what's the best for us. He can be trusted. God is sovereign. And no situation is beyond His control. Ang Diyos makapangyarihan niya eh. So, kaya niya tayong tulungan. Ano man daw pinagdadaanan natin even we are on time of fear, anger, and frustration. God is our help. Lagi natin katulong yan. So, kagabayan tayo. Kaya tandaan natin, how to handle anger, fear, and frustration? Siguro, si God. Kailangan natin si God. And doon and, and, and sa sinabi ko kanina, yung bang, may mga paraan naman na pwede natin gawin. Okay, guys, thank you very much. God bless you all.